What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Jason, I think it's Perfoma. He is the League on objective player to complete and to be honest I didn't see him on release otherwise we would have done this video way earlier. But I'm just trying to find him now. Here he is. So we've got an 86 rated cam, obviously French again. Gives me them a little bit Millet vibes. Four star, four star, which is always fantastic. High low on the work rates, five foot ten. And he has come from a 72 rated rare. In terms of a few traits of his, we have zero. Um, obviously 5'10", high low, left footed, which is always fantastic. We've got decent pace. Shooting could definitely do with a bit of work. Obviously got a bit of long shots and shot power on him. Some very good passing stats. Um, dribbling. Again, looks fantastic, actually. Really, really nice there. Great agility balance. Obviously, the composure is nice and high. Ball control and dribbling. We've got great jumping, good stamina. Strength and aggression, probably just shy of average. And the chem style you are looking for is more than likely going to be a hunter. So that would turn him into an 87 rated cam with 96 pace and 91 shooting. Again, we are going to try and get a review out on him as soon as possible. But he is... Looking pretty decent. So on to the objectives. So we've obviously got the same sort of setup as obviously before with like the Premier League player, the Serie A, and obviously La Liga. I think Bundesliga is the only one I've currently completed. But if we have a look then, so we've got us do win 10 matches using only league on players in managerial masterpiece. Pretty standard. Uh, score 30 goals, assist 20. Ass Assist with a cross using Lee Gun in five separate matches and finally score a goal outside of the box in eight separate matches. So I think these are probably one of the hardest ones to do. And that is being said, the 10 matches, pretty simple. 30 goals, 20 assists, pretty easy. Assist with crosses, I do know that a lot of the comments normally whenever we've got cross goals are a little bit harder because some people don't know how to do it or they seem to do it but it just doesn't count. What I personally do is normally I like to counter attack with this and bring my player as close to the box as possible where the keeper's almost drawn out and just a, a simple cross across. That is, is the way I personally do it. Sometimes you can get the crosses. Um, normally if you've got the kind of one-on-one -on -one, you're crossing into a defender and an attacker. Sometimes you get the header which is always beneficial really but that is always a good shout if you've got a flashback Benzema um, he can do it but again you've got to kind of get in the the limelight of Lee Gunn so we will have a look at the team and what you want to be using realistically but this one is going to be the worst one scoring outside the box in eight separate matches is the worst thing ever and I think that is I'd take literally five objectives of assisting crosses rather than actually doing outside the box that one for me has always been a stinker because they know what you're going to do people just put a, a person in the way and there's not a lot you can do from that obviously with league on you do have some good players but we have got to go in the uh, kind of managerial masterpiece squad so just to refresh our memories with friendlies and obviously what managerial masterpiece entails we will have a quick look and see what the objectives were or what the, the requirements were so obviously 77 rated max no player lower than 73 um, also, you can have 74s in there technically. That's actually not that bad. Lone player is one, and obviously an 88 or higher is one as well. So let's go and make ourselves a masterpiece league gun. Obviously, we've got a lot of rivals to do as well, so that's always fantastic. And that's the current setup of the team. So heavy, heavy on that league gun. So obviously, we've been doing the league gun objective. So we may not have absolutely everybody. Um, so if we just put league, and then we'll put mm just so we know we're not getting confused with our actual league. Let's have a look then. So if I go in my normal standard formation of a 4-2-3-1, as that's personally like what I like to set up as. So let's have a look at 74 on the bench. So if we go silver rare, I didn't realize that we can actually use 74. So that's always a benefit one there. Um, we'll just get enough for the bench. Think that is golden. So then let's have a look at the league on players then. Let's just see who we've got currently in the gold setup obviously 75s are always good but the rares are always better so perfect there 78 pace will do me absolutely fine we've got a good paced right back there obviously you mainly just look for the pace and kind of cheaper players again 79 is not looking terrible but I'm, I'm gonna go for like the best kind of back line and stuff in the low rated so let's have a quick look at some concepts for you so if we go gold rare and we've gone concept we are looking at Okay, we're looking at speed of anything on this keeper, and he looks pretty tasty. So let's go with him. Then we're looking at as many 75s as possible at a low rated. So 
he's looking like the one at the moment or the guy next to him just to quickly take a look to see if there's any op ones like obviously tomorrow and stuff if we're going for it i feel like this guy is going to be a better option we actually do have him as well which is always beneficial um kazawa is looking good at a 76 or we'll go just all out 84 pace sometimes oh kamara 77 rated yeah we're good for it so there we go we've got the back line and obviously the goalkeeper sorted striker probably one of the most important positions you can go with you can go cheap and go with him um i'm not even going to pronounce his name um it's got a first name myron perfect um in terms of kind of a little bit more on the higher rated style i'd potentially be looking at a bit of ben Yedda. I feel like 84, you can scrape it. 77 rated should be absolutely fine. And then if we're looking, potentially Fofana would be a nice one. Um, let's have a look at CDMs and CMs. Just because we don't want to be skipping out on anybody that really kind of shouts out at me. Gwenduzi is definitely not a bad one, 77 rated. Or if you go Thiago Mendes, but I'm thinking Gwenduzi might be a nice one purely for that um, 77 rated rather than 78. And then if we're looking for a cam, Millet's always a nice option. Or Claude Maurice actually looking good as more of a cam option personally we're looking more center mid so i will kind of uh, trail back to there so we're thinking potentially fofana pretty solid option there so that again is a quality bench right there and then i doubt we're going to be able to get messy in here if we can then that is absolutely phenomenal but i think it's very very unlikely so we've got 76. I cannot see this guy being 75 rated and then having Messi in there. Might be a little bit of a stretch, but we'll certainly have a look and see if it's possible. 78. So if we drop somebody else, potentially, let's just do the maths here. Because if we had Messi, that's going to really help us in terms of actually pushing forward. Um, let's just whack a few 75s in just to see if we can drop that, potentially. It's going to have to literally be the... The minute of players so if we just went with 75s across the board so if we do again have a look at kind of more midfielders we can actually get messy in and we just need to have a look at that 75 winger so we've got to hope that's possible as well um so if we just go again off this we'll go low to high as always let's have a look so we've got gold there so 75 we're looking for so we'll go with you and then i'm thinking we go with 72 defending keep it nice and simple and then all we need now is a left wing or left mid which hopefully there is just one gold left wing or something toko akambi he's going to take it to 78 so hopefully a left mid is here we do technically we have simon perfect so simon actually does it really well so that's just a way that if you have got an untradeable messi or obviously an mbappe you have got all of the requirements there for it so just a recap before we finish off of what we actually need to do um, in terms of this objective entirety so what you want to be doing is mainly looking for them outside of the uh, outside of the box goals they're going to be the key one because they are separate matches the crosses obviously are separate matches but you only have to do five Assisting 20 will come naturally, scoring 30 will come naturally, and then obviously the win 10. If you do manage to get eight in a row outside of the box, then obviously you're some sort of god, but that is possible most definitely. So definitely focus on these two first. These two will come naturally, and then just win out the 10 matches once you have everything else done. But from that, enjoy the card. Let's see what we can get with him. Make sure you do like and subscribe, and I'll catch you off for the next one. Peace.